let's stay in the Caribbean for a second and talk about Haiti. Um, is Haiti just a failed state that you have to manage and maintain as opposed to engage with? The last stop of the United States naval ship Comfort, whose slogan is United We Sail, was Haiti. We had a lot of discussion about the force protection, keeping our team safe and the doctors and nurses and medical professionals safe going into that. A lot of good conversation with Ambassador Sisson. And uh, we made the decision to go in. I visited, uh, brought along some of my team. But what we found was it was a, it was a calming. So we're, we're in there. I just have a fundamental belief in humans. I believe there is hope. And I believe they're going to work their way out of that. Certainly, it's been a long history getting here. And what we saw there is uh, the poverty, the, the uh, breakdown in civil service. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of work to do, but there are people focused on it, and there are good people that we met that are, are, are foresighted on this, and so I think it's going to happen. Um, just can't happen soon enough for the poor people that are affected by this crisis. You often talk about the relationships you have military to military, as you talked about earlier, Colombia, other countries that you have close relationships with. Do, do you have a relationship with the Haitian military? Do, is there a functioning Haitian military at this point? Every country that we deal with has some differences in their organization. Some don't have militaries. Some of our close partners like Panama have security forces. In the case of ha Haiti, they have a very small security military force focused on engineers. That's about right for them. They have a police force and they have a Coast Guard. And we work by, with, and through our Coast Guard and work with our embassy team and State Department partners on the policing. So we have a small role in the capacity building of both those forces, but nonetheless, it's one we're focused on.